the house. It had always been this like elusive mansion on this corner of downtown Slow and was this like big green house. But I had no idea like what it could look like on the inside. It was just like tall and long and green. <laughs> Here's the breakdown, 19 rooms, four bathrooms, four refrigerators, two stoves, two sinks, one kitchen, one living room. The den. I think the heart that um, that pumps the you know the community blood is the kitchen and the den. The den is a space. It's it's longer than it is wide. There's always a, a couch. There are a couple of tables. At one end of the den is a, a wall of pictures between two bookcases, and on the other side. Um, there's a chalkboard, which is the community chalkboard. So you can write notes to your fellow housemates or to other people in the community. There's a chore wheel. Like the den is the kind of place where there's always somebody, there's always multiple people in there and they're always willing to talk to you, which is pretty weird. The house culture of like, don't sit in the den and text people on your phone. Like if you're in the den, it's to connect with other people. And so for me, the den, it's like warm, glowing light, maybe some sparkly light, somebody's eating, there's some dishes left, there's like somebody flopped on the couch. And so it would just be people like ready to give you a back rub and like ask you how your day was. And that was always a great thing to come home to. If, if the establishment had a heart, that's like the heart of the establishment is that the den is a welcoming place to be. Mm -hmm. I think everybody feels it when they get there. Mm -hmm. The kitchen. The kitchen is also long and, and, and very narrow. There are three refrigerators in there, uh, two stoves, and it's a place where everybody, <laughs> inevitably, everybody meets and talks and drinks beer and makes food. And like I said, it's, the, it's kind of the heart of, of the house and what, what kind of pumps the community blood. Um, you can you can go into the kitchen at most hours of the day, and if you wait for five or ten minutes, you're going to run into somebody. You can you could sit in the kitchen all day and be entertained <laughs> and fed. <laughs> the bathrooms at the establishment. There are four formal bathrooms and one outdoor shower. All of the bathrooms have had different themes and have taken on different forms over the years. Downstairs, in the hallway, just next to the kitchen is the first smaller bathroom. The pedal pooper. The, the stand for the toilet paper roll is uh, made of handlebars, some drop bars. Right now it's got champion stripes bicycle champion stripes along the walls and it's got a big blue ceiling with clouds on it and there's bike shit everywhere then next door to the pedal pooper we've got the steve Irwin memorial bathroom it's got a three quarters life size cut out of him in an alligator or a crocodile hunter i guess um <laughs> a crocodile <laughs> it's very jungle themed It is the only shower that has a tub. Down at the end of the hallway, across from the Steve Irwin bathroom, is the free pile. It's an old big chest where people can put all kinds of junk that they don't want anymore. And you can find lots of great treasures there. And essentially it's like our own little, you know, secondhand store at the end of the hallway. It, once a week it just gets, everything gets dumped to Goodwill. To get to the other bathrooms, you travel upstairs, and right smack dab in the middle of the hallway are the two other bathrooms. BTMB, bigger than my bedroom bathroom, and the Madonna bathroom. BTMB, bigger than my bedroom. It's full of wonderful plants and fish. It's the biggest, there's a costume box. Madonna in bathroom is pink. 
it's narrow. It's basically just a closet that's painted pink, but somehow fits a toilet and a shower in there. The outdoor shower is a pretty magical place because you get to witness the seasons change in the form of grape leaves. You can shower in the shower and pick grapes and eat them while you're showering. And it's a beautiful outdoor showering experience. The rooms. So there are 19 rooms. Seven of the 19 rooms are on the first floor and then the other 12 rooms are on the second floor. Each one has like a black door and a gold number. So there are 19 rooms, but they go from rooms 1 through 20. All but I believe two of them have a loft. Some of them have sinks. They vary a lot in size. Um, there's one super tiny one that is debatably smaller than one of the bathrooms in the house. But it's like a very livable nook. And then the one right next to it is massive. All of the rooms on the bottom floor have higher ceilings. You make your way through the house and then you find the staircase. And when you get to the top, there's more rooms up there. All of the tenants do a great job decking those rooms out. If I'm being really honest, I think my favorite room's 19. I think it's my favorite room because you could sit in your room and almost be a little secretive. Like no one could really see around the corner and you could just kind of sit and observe like the sounds of the yard, the sounds of upstairs. And there was just something like really awesome and cozy about that room. As you go down the hall, framed pictures of past stabbies and just little trinkets and gadgets and as you get to the end of the hallway you find the um, fire exit which is this staircase that leads down into the deck area yes it's it's like a big house in what seems to be a small house the porch the porch is this like extension of the living room it's like one of the coziest places to just sit and start your day it's covered in wisteria that you know grows and recedes like with the season so it's always really dynamic it's a nice place for everyone to hang out there's beautiful lights and people tend to congregate there folks will make their dinner together and then go out to the deck to enjoy it together and as people come home more often than not the group will become bigger and bigger until it's a party on the deck it has such a good conversational space because you're close to each other but also far enough away to like have a little bit of you know like you're not slammed in the yard the yard is relatively small or at least it seems because most of the real estate is taken up by bikes Every person has at least one bike in the yard, so that is at least 19 bikes, but there's many more than that. The yard spans the south side of the house, and it wraps around a little bit around the back west end of the house. That's where the garden is. The yard is a place where we have cocktail parties and potluck dinners and garden parties and the summer is the best time to be in the yard because the sun stays out until late at night and we can convene and play cribbage and drink beer and everyone tends to congregate there especially when it's warm too warm inside to be in in the den